Five campsites, five days. No! This is my favorite, y'all. This not is mine. Yeah, it's not your favorite? <clears throat> Which one was your favorite? The last one. The last one? Okay. The dispersed camping just uh, north of Salida. This is my favorite because I love the views. This is about 10 minutes north uh, east of Buena Vista. It is a free campground. It's called Turtle Rock Campground. And there are a lot of dispersed campsites on the road, but we chose to stop at the campground. Um, part of it is it has a restroom. It doesn't have showers. It just has a toilet. Um, and there's a... <clears throat> There's a camp host here, yes. so we were able to drop our camper and take off. I mean, we may be uh, been able to do that someplace else. We just didn't, you know. I mean, we didn't want to come back and there would be no camper there. We've heard of it happening before, and ours is extremely easy to hook up and take off with. Yeah, I mean, really, that's one of the reasons we came out here is to bring the teardrop to my daughter so she and her husband can play in it next year, so it would be horrible if that thing wasn't here when we got back so yeah and we went uh it's been harder for me with the elevation that it has her i've had uh um, headaches most of the last two days but we figured out today uh in this area what is this area called does, um, it, does it have a mountain range name or? i'm not real sure huh but anyway it's got a lot of trails that we can ride in the four-wheeler and we'll show you some footage that we've taken when we went through this Davis um, Meadows, Davis Meadows trail. And it was just, it's the prettiest thing I, that we've seen since we've been here. Yeah. You can hear the ATVs in the distance. Yeah, we didn't hear that yesterday, so that's a little bit different. This is a lot of off-roading. There are a lot of off-road trails that we tried and we ended up liking them. We're gonna do it again because um, yeah. it gave us a way to hike without uh, breathing that hard. And really, the prettiest views that we've seen since we've been here were when we got off, off the road and did some trails today. So yeah, absolutely. He had, a, he had a blast. Absolutely, it was fun. He had so much fun riding those trails. So um, this also has a, the Turtle Rock Campground is named for the Turtle Rock. You'll see that in the video that I drop. Um, a lot of people do rock climbing and rappelling, so we're not into that. <clears throat> I may free climb Turtle Rock sometime tonight i don't think so okay. i don't think so so right. but today's our last day on our camping adventure before we head to denver to hang out with my daughter and my son-in-law and then my son's going to come up so we really 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 enjoy taking our time to make our way to denver absolutely it's a lot of driving but it, it has all definitely been worth it you know we've eaten at some good places mm -hmm. um, we haven't eaten out a lot but no we've I mean, had about one good meal a day eating out yeah maybe one good meal a day so but buena vista is a nice place it's got some good restaurants and salida uh, they're both on the arkansas river and we actually saw some whitewater rafters rafting the arkansas river yesterday in salida so there are tons of free dispersed camping around here everywhere everywhere even the mountain range that we're in right now if we did it again we would camp in a different spot they used to, we wouldn't have a camp host to watch the camper but we would camp in a different spot there's some really pretty places yeah. near these mountains yeah we're kind of jealous of some of the spots that we've driven by um some of them are a little bit difficult to get to with our camper we might could make it yeah, I mean, there, there were some big campers at some of the spots. I mean, yeah. I guess if you just go slow. Yeah. So we're going to we're gonna walk around the campground and show you some of the sites and show you Turtle Rock. And we're going to be wrap, wrapping up our camping video. Yep. So. At least this one. Yeah, this one. The Out West video. So. And I'll, I'll drop some links to the books that I ordered to uh, help be able to plan this trip. We really had no idea where to go, but... The books that I had had GPS coordinates. One of them actually had a street address, which matched the GPS coordinate. So that's pretty sweet to have a GPS coordinate to go to. And But like I told her, I don't think you can mess up. I, I don't think you can mess up. If you try to come here and, ca and camp, I mean, we're at a GPS coordinate, but we found better campsites. So I don't think you can mess up here. Yeah, that's true. And we are here, you know, I don't know, if it's probably not peak season. People are still in school still a little bit early for a lot of campers to come but now there are a lot of people out here enjoying enjoying the area i highly recommend these books i use them in an atlas to plan the trip 
This is the view from our campsite. Here's another map for reference. There's Buena Vista, Colorado, and we stayed at the Turtle Rock camping area. Up in this area, the Davis Meadows Trail is where we went riding in the Forerunner and saw some of the prettiest views. I wouldn't recommend going in that area with just a regular car, but a truck or anything that had a little bit of high clearance, you can get through. And if you meet an area in the road that you don't feel comfortable going through, you can just turn around and go back. Vista's down there, about 10 minutes from here. Those are some of the collegiate peaks, some of the 14,000 footers. There is Turtle Rock right there, and the campground that we're staying on is right up under Turtle Rock. That's dispersed camping, and it's free, and a lot of people go there to rappel and rock climb. Uh, but that's just beautiful right there. It doesn't get any prettier than that. since we got here, right? It'll be better when the sun goes on down. Yeah, when the sun goes down, it'll be a little bit better. Now this is one of the places that you can disperse camp for free on the Arkansas River. There's all kinds of campsites on this road. Not a whole lot in one location, but this one's available. You can't get better than this view. So we're gonna close this video because we're gonna go walk around and look at some more of the views and cook supper. And we're gonna turn in a little bit early tonight because we got a big day tomorrow. We're gonna meet our kids up. So. Yep. So we'll uh, see y'all on the next video. Catch you later. Hey, I guess if you don't mind, if you could hit that like button and subscribe, that supposedly will help help us out later on. We're almost there. We're almost there. Almost. Not quite, but almost. Not quite. But I mean, not that uh, this is very hard work right here. So I can understand if you don't do it on this particular video, but on the stuff <laughs> where we're sweating, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. When we're teaching you stuff, when we're demonstrating things from the homestead. If there's some value in what we teach you, hit that like and subscribe button. So. Yeah, drink lots of water is what I've been, I've drank more water trying to fend off these headaches. I'm not a big water drinker. No. But I have drank uh, over a gallon so far today, you know. Yeah. And I guess it's helped, so I guess I'll keep doing it. That gum. <laughs> I've been having to push the water on him. He doesn't like it at all. No, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of pit stops. <laughs> a lot of pit stops. A lot of pit stops. And, and, Full disclosure. You're gonna tell about the gas. 
No, I'm not telling about the cast. It's terrible. <laughs> Horrid. No. Man, Colorado women farts suck. You did it's, not. It's terrible. But you did not. It's terrible. Not and sure. that little box right there. I'm not sure it's my nerves that's gotten a hold of me because people have scared me into making me think that it was stupid for us to come to this elevation to adventure when we're not used to the elevation. So last night I kind of woke up in a semi-panic attack thinking, oh my gosh, am I too high of an elevation to be safe? And thinking, How, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So I took an extra valerian, which is a which is an herbal medicine that kind of calms you down and helps me rest well. This is what I got to travel with. <laughs> this is what I got to travel with. FYI, valerian also can be used uh, if you're constipated. It can, it can give you diarrhea. He learned that the hard way. I so. took it willingly? I gave it to you to help you sleep. I didn't realize it was going to make you... Like I said, this is what I got to travel with. <laughs> Trust I mean, me slip to me and some kind of herbal mickeys and stuff <clears throat> i tell you what it is when i give it to you i don't listen to you most of the time you talk <laughs> non-stop i do not you talk non-stop i do not anyway so we're gonna wrap up this video and we will probably do some more footage when we're with our kids later this week i think we're gonna head north west of denver to estes park area we're not gonna camp there we're just gonna do day hikes so Supposedly. All right, so we'll see y'all later.